bring Welcome to the Simple Truth Hour. My name is Pastor Samuel Somoa Asante, and we get into the Word of God, which teaches us, rebukes, corrects, and instructs us in the way of righteousness, so that the child of God will be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto every good work. Our topic for today is don't lose any of them. And our key scripture is John chapter 6, verse 39. This is the will of my father who sent me, that of all he has given to me, I should lose nothing, but should raise him up at the last day. In our previous study, we learned that winning souls for God is God's grand desire for his children. In today's key scripture, our Lord Jesus says, it is the Father's will that none of those who the Father has given to him must be lost. Many Christians have not come to acknowledge that the call into Christ is to play your role in raising the body of Christ or building the supernatural church of God. The church is not a brick or wooden structure, but human beings. The Lord said, I will build my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. Matthew 16, 18. Apostle Peter states it clearer to the Jewish brethren who had dispersed among the Gentile world. 1 Peter 2, verse 5. You also, as living stones, are built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. He says every child of God is a living stone being constructed into that spiritual house of God. In the light of the above, each Christian is so precious to the plans of God. It will be a great loss to God's divine agenda for any who has become part of this supernatural temple to fall out. We all know of the great importance of making sure that fixed bricks in a building should not be removed or tempered with. Their respective roles help in raising this supernatural temple for the Father. Ephesians 4, 16 says, from whom all the body being fitted and knit together through that which every joint supplied, according to the working in measure of each individual part, makes the body increase to the building up of itself in love. Every part supplies a unique strength for the upkeep and growth of the temple. You are all very important. This is why it is the Father's greatest desire that none is lost, and also to preserve every soul to make it at the long run. What must be done to keep these souls in the Lord? One, it is a sincere love for the Father that will endear each one to care for the flock. John 21, 15 to 17. Two, take heed to yourself by building a strong relationship with the Lord. Acts 20, 28. Take heed therefore unto yourself and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he had purchased with his own blood. Three, teach them the whole counsel of God. Acts 20, 27. Four, pray diligently for them that they might be established in the Lord. Colossians 4, 12. Five, be an example to them in the ways of righteousness. John 17, 19. Six, instruct them to practice the discipline for growth. Luke 10, 1. Now, thoughts. Stay strong to strengthen others. Stay strong to strengthen others. Further studies. John chapter 21, verse 15. So when they had dined, Jesus said unto Simon, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. John 17, 12. 
while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost by the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Amen. If you wish to contact me, you may call plus two three three five four nine five two seven six two five plus two three three five four nine five two seven six two five god bless you may his peace abide on you may he strengthen you to be a pillar in his house to raise many unto him in jesus mighty name amen